G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another one of my EV realist videos. In these videos I try and put a slightly more realistic perspective on the transition to EVs than the wildly optimistic and highly idealistic uh, views that are currently being put by our various governments around the world. So if you like this kind of content it would be great to have you as a subscriber. So in this video I'm going to talk about a problem uh, which nobody really seems to be talking about and which I think is going to make a big difference to uh, the infrastructure of EV charging and it's going to make it a lot less attractive and a lot more impractical uh, to construct. So um, let's take a step back and we'll have a look at how a regular gas station or petrol station works. Have a look at this wonderfully quaint illustration that I found. Um, as you can see, obviously the fuel is delivered by a tanker, which can have between kind of 20 and 40,000 liters of fuel. And then it's dumped into this underground tank. Now that underground tank plays a really, really important role. Each fuel pump in the gas station has its own feed pipe from the tank to the pump itself. So if one driver turns up at the uh, fuel station and wants to fill up their car, um, that pump is activated and it draws uh, fuel from that, from that huge tank. If two people or three people or five people turn up at the gas station at the same time, each of those uh, pumps is, is, is fed by a separate pipe and each of those uh, pumps can deliver the maximum quantity of fuel uh, to those cars in the shortest possible time doesn't matter if there's one car there or if there's 10 cars there and the real problem with an EV charging station is that there's not that tank that acts as a buffer to deal with additional demands the connection between the EV charging station and uh, the the grid is of a fixed capacity so for example say a uh, EV charging station has a maximum connection of one megawatt uh, to the to the grid then if one or two vehicles are charging, say, at 350 kilowatts, then they will each get the full 350 kilowatts. But if there are three people trying to charge at 350 kilowatts, and when there's only one megawatt of power available, that means each of those chargers is going to be scaled down. And as the number of uh, cars being charged increases, the speed of each charging point will decrease. It's completely different to uh, a current uh, fuel station where because of the fact that they have this tank, they're able to provide um, maximum fuel flow to 10 or 12 or however many uh, pumps they have at that particular station. The other problem with this is that other users of the electricity grid um, are battling uh, with the EV charging station for uh, electricity and so if there's a large industrial site nearby which needs a lot of electricity that is going to upset the balance of the network and adversely affect uh, a charging station which is connected nearby and this is a problem because when you look at those big um, service stations on freeways they often have a huge number of uh, pumps they need to get people through quickly and the tanks allow for this buffer so if there's a lot of customers that all come at once they can still um, fill their cars as quickly as if there was just one person there and this is just not going to be possible for mass EV chargers on on major freeways and so you're going to turn up to a charging station and really you're not going to know uh, whether you're going to get the full power out of that charger or not and it's going to depend very much whether there are other people there with you or you're there on your own. It's uh, completely unpredictable. So that's just about it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you've got any tips, you can hit me up at Instagram or by email. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.